Hello everyone. My name is Miss Sue. I'm happy to see you here today for some stories and rhymes. It's springtime and it's a special holiday for some folks who here in our part of the world. It some people like to celebrate Easter and it's a time to celebrate the return of spring. And there's other stories that are part of Easter too. Um, but today we're going to talk about the spring stories part of Easter. And oftentimes, because there's so many new babies being born in nature, like baby birds and baby bunnies, there's stories about Easter that have to do with babies, like babies that come from eggs and bunnies. There's a story about an Easter bunny, huh? That brings colorful eggs for children to find. So let's start our story time today. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. We're going to have some fun. Hola todos, hola todos, hola todos, nos vamos a dividir, yay! Let's get our wiggly fingers, open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, open, shut them, open, shut them, them, put them in your lap. Yay. All right, let's get some fingers up like this and two fingers up like this. And if we move our fingers like this, this is sign language for bunny. This is a bunny listening with its big ears. Let's Put our fingers up like this for another way to have a bunny. Hop, 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 hop. Where's your bunny gonna hop to? Hop over here. Hop, 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 hop. Let's hop over there. Hop, 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 hop. Let's hop up on our head. Hop, 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 hop. Hello, bunny. Do you have a bunny on your head? I, I have a bunny on my head. Shoo, bunny. Let's have a funny poem about a bunny. Get your bunny ready with its wiggly ears. This bunny, this poem goes, Here is a bunny with ears so funny, and here is its hole in the ground. When a noise she hears, oh, she pricks up her ears and jumps, hop, 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 into the hole in her ground. Jump! Let's do that one again. Get your bunny ready. Hello! Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is her hole in the ground. When a noise she hears, she pricks up her ears and jumps in the hole in the ground. All right, I have an Easter story for you. This is a funny one. This one is called Max, Max's Chocolate Chicken. And it's by Rosemary Wells. She wrote the story and drew the pictures. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to move the camera just a teeny bit. There we go. Max's Chocolate Chicken. One morning. Oh, let's move this so it's not so bright on the book. There we go. Who do you think that is with a basket of Easter eggs? One morning, somebody put a chocolate chicken in the bird bath. No, 
Um, I love you, said Max. Wait, Max, said Max's sister, Ruby. First, we go on an egg hunt. If you find the most eggs, then you get the chocolate chicken. And if I find the most eggs, then I get the chocolate chicken, said Ruby. I spy with my little eye a yellow egg hiding. Can you see it? Max went looking for eggs, but all he found was a mud puddle. He looks pretty happy about that too, huh? Ruby found a big yellow egg. Max didn't find any. No eggs, no chicken, Max, said Ruby. Max went looking again, but all he found were acorns. He looks pretty happy about that too, huh? Can you see a hiding egg in this picture? What color is it? Ruby found a blue egg. Max, said Ruby, pull yourself together. Otherwise, you'll never get the chocolate chicken. So Max went looking with Ruby. Ruby found a red egg with green stars. Max found a spoon. Ruby found a gold egg with purple stripes and a turquoise egg with silver swirls and a lavender egg with orange polka dots. Max found some ants. They're both good at finding things, aren't they? Then Max made an ant and acorn pancake. Max, said Ruby, you'd have a trouble finding your own ears if they weren't attached to your head. Ruby counted her eggs. I'm the one who's going to get the chocolate chicken, Max, said Ruby. Let's count Ruby's eggs together. There's one, two, three, four, five, and there's a blue one right over there. Six eggs. Wow. But Max ran away. And he hid. Oh, he has something he's hiding with. What does he have? <gasps> Look, he's got the chocolate chicken. The bird bath was empty. <gasps> Where are you, Max? Ruby called. Max ate the chicken's tail. I see you, Max, said Ruby, but she didn't really. Max ate the chocolate chicken's head. I'll give you half the chocolate chicken, Max, yelled Ruby. Max ate the wings. Then he popped out of his hiding place. Max, said Ruby. How could you do this to me? Oh, I spy with my little eyes something being put in the bird bath. What is it? I love you, said Max. The and Max. Max's chocolate chicken. Sometimes people like to eat chocolate.
bunnies and chocolate chickens and special candies on Easter. Sometimes people have other kinds of treats in their Easter eggs like uh, like pennies and quarters or healthy treats too. Everyone celebrates it in a different way. Everyone celebrates spring in a different way. All right, let's have another poem. We're gonna get our hand like, oh no, we're gonna get our hand like this for another kind of baby that comes in the spring. Here is a nest for a robin. And here is a hive for a bee. Bzzz. Here is a hole for a bunny. And here is a house for me. Let's do that one again. Okay, we're gonna get out our nest for a baby bird. Here it's a nest for a robin. Here is a hive for a bzzz bee. Here is a hole for a bunny. Hop. And here is a house for me. Yay. All right. Let's do a little bunny hopping. Can you pretend that you're a bunny? with big long ears that twitch. Maybe you've got a wrinkly little nose. You're sniffing for some carrots. And you can hop, 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 hop. Are you ready? Here we go, bunnies. We're hopping, we're hopping, we're hopping, hopping, hopping. We're hopping, we're hopping. And now we're going to stop. Bunnies can be very quiet. What else does a bunny do? Let's get our pretend carrots out. We're munching, we're munching. We're munching, munching, munching. We're munching, we're munching. And now we're going to stop. Let's listen with our big ears. Oh, I think there's a cat coming. We better run. Are you ready to hop really fast? Here we go. We're hopping, we're hopping, we're hopping, 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 we're hopping, we're hopping, and now we're going to stop. Nice job, bunnies. Okay, I have another story. This is a flannel story, and it's called how kind. And this story is by Mary Murphy. It's a story you can check out at the library if you really like it. And it's got many animals in it. And it also has a bunny in it. So look out for that bunny. Here we go. Is this the bunny? No. It's a chicken. One day, chicken gave pig oink, 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 an egg. <gasps> wow, said it. Pig, how kind. Thank you. Pig found a very safe spot for that egg in a pile of hay so it could be nice and safe. Pig was so happy about the egg, he thought, wow, chicken is so kind. I want to be kind like chicken. What can I do that's kind? So Pig thought, oh, I know. So Pig went to, hop, 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 who is it? Bunny, and said, Bunny, here is a carrot. <laughs> oh, said 
bunny. I love carrots. Thank you. And as Bunny was chewing on that carrot, <laughs> Bunny was thinking, I want to be kind too. I wonder how I can be kind. And when that carrot was all gone, <laughs> Bunny had an idea. Bunny went to pick some flowers. Wow. And gave them to Moo. Who is that? Moo. Yeah, that's a big cow. Cow likes to eat flowers. And cow ate those flowers up. Mm. Wow, thank you, Bunny. I love eating flowers. How kind. Bunny hopped away with a smile on her face. And Cow thought, I want to be kind too. How can I be kind? So Cow decided that she would give a bowl of milk to Meow. <gasps> cat! Wow! How does Cat look? Cat looks really happy. Cats like to drink milk, usually. And Cat went and lapped up all that milk and said, Oh, thank you, Cow. How kind. Moo, you're welcome, said Cow. When Cat finished drinking her milk, she thought, wow, I want to be kind too. I know. She called her friend over, dog, woof, 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 and said, hey, dog, let's play your favorite game. And dog said, oh, really? And cat said, yeah. So you know what their game is? They played chase. They ran around and around and around and around and around for over an hour. <sighs> it made Dog so happy that Dog was panting <laughs> and thinking, wow, that was fun. I want to do something kind too. So Dog went to get his favorite stick. And he went to Pig and said, Hey, Pig, let me scratch your back. And he used that stick and he scratched that pig's back. Scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, said Pig, that feels so good. Thank you. And Dog said, You're welcome. And Pig said, Hey, Dog. Do you want to see something really special? Yes, I do, said Dog. So together, they went to look at Pig's special egg. But when they got there, the egg was gone. <gasps> and instead of an egg, there was something else. What do you think it is? It's a baby chicken. Beep, 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 beep. Dog and pig went, <gasps> and they took that baby chicken to mama chicken. Buk, 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 buk. And mama chicken went, oh, <gasps> thank you, how kind. And that's how our story ends. Back at the beginning with the chicken. With the chicken and the egg. And this makes me think of a little song that we can sing. So we're going to get our finger up. Because like this story, we're going to have a circle. The story starts with the chicken and the egg doing something kind. And ends with the chicken and the little baby chick. 
So we're gonna have our circle with our finger and we're gonna go, a circle is round without an end and that's how long I want to be your friend. A circle is round without a end and that's how long I want to be your friend. Yay! And kindness is what builds friendship. That's the best Easter treat right there, huh? Thank you for joining me today for Stories and Rhymes. I hope you guys had a really good Easter weekend and a really nice spring. Go outside and see if you can see any flowers. Okay, let's sing our going away song together. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. See you next time.